Oh, oh shit. Oh no. Oh god, he's getting <laughs> How's it going? Whoa. Oh my god, he actually did that. <laughs> yeah, I fell. Oh, you fell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, because I didn't know you were right behind us at first, and it takes a minute to actually get in here sometimes. Like, Jesus yeah. Christ, it really scared me. Yeah, what up? <coughs> Going up. Oh, going here, down, no, just, 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 button, button. Button? Oh. Oh, well, shit. It was actually kind of funny down there. If getting out of the well was only that easy. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, in IRL, if I saw a well like that, I would stay clear from it. Because just imagine yeah. really going down there. There's no button. There's no teleport button in IRL. Nope. I know, I've matter. looked for one. You imagine trying to rope climb your way out of that thing? Jesus. Oh, fuck that. I've never been able to do a chin up. It's not yeah. gonna be me. I'm gonna be <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Same here. Same here, dude. <laughs> You're not alone. Like in those situations, I, I, I've actually thought about that. I've watched like Indiana Jones movies, and I've been like, if that was me, I'd be long dead. This movie would have lasted three yep. and a half minutes. It's like half of the half yeah. of the shit is like I can't climb up. Dude, 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 dude. The the, the, fir the first boulder trap would have taken me down. I can't fucking run. <laughs> like. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> And my and my stupid ass, I would have been like, I have to turn around and take a picture of this. This is sick. Yeah. And that's when and that's when good times would go bad immediately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An experience like no other, you could say. <laughs> literally, literally, only one done. There was a, there actually was a kid in the eighties. Timmy fell in the fucking well. After that, would they like outlawed wells? They're like gonna cover the well before we have another Timmy incident, Jim. <laughs> sure do, sure do. Yeah. And uh, Timmy fell in the well. Nobody, nobody knew he was there until somebody went and made a wish, and threw a quarter and fucking hit Timmy right in the head. And like immediately, Timmy was like, ah! and they're like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" There's a fucking kid. In the, in the, in the, that's how it started. <laughs> my mother like to keep me from doing dangerous tricks on my bike and stuff. You know, she wouldn't. I'd be like, "Ma, gravity doesn't like me," and she would say immediately. I'm like, oh my god, really? That's pretty fucking severe. All I want to do is Oof. go for a damn bike ride. Yeah. Started telling my mom the devil and his half pipe are looking more and more enticing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. A world at its finest mm. with one end. In two swords! <laughs> Holy shit. Hell yeah! <laughs> God, it's VR. If I ever met somebody within the first 15 minutes of knowing them, they pulled those things out, I wouldn't even know what to say. <laughs> right? Like, dude, you're burning my Formica. <laughs> Hell yeah, there we go. Let's put those away. <laughs> what about this? It's pretty fucking serious right there. Does that get, like, HBO and Showtime for free? Oh, of course it does. This is better than Cody. Yeah! <laughs> Capture the flag is coming to Quake Champions, Moxie. What? Yeah, capture the, the flag is what, it, what I heard. Did, did, you, did you just say capture the flag? Capture the flag, yeah. That's like one of the only things I don't get! Why? Why did it come with the plan? I'm gonna have to pay like three extra dollars! <laughs> 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 oh shit! Behind you, you said it's your friend, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, fuck! Shit. My arm is broke. No, God, I need to freaking get my guy to fix that shit. Broken arms, no problem. Come to the VR hospital. <laughs> Nintendo. Oh snap, he's got some pretty cool boss music. You know, have a problem with their arm? Do some people claim that their boobs are not working? Maybe that ass isn't jiggling like it used to. <laughs> Welcome to the hospital here in the Polygon Hills. Your number one avatar stopped to get that knee and elbow working once again. <laughs> 
Got a problem with saggy titties? We've got you covered. Got a problem with that foot that always walks tippy toed? We've got you covered. <laughs> Do your friends complain about your microphone being loud? We'll fucking lower it. Because that's not where you're gonna get it fixed. We're here at the Polygon Hills Hospital. Thank you, lovely people who want to make sure it all remains TOS. Thank you. And we hope to see you soon. Making one butthole beautiful one at a time. The hospital. <laughs> This fucking guy. You can do that. Oh. You can make my butthole beautiful. Someone. You can make my face beautiful too. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Depends on how much pineapple you eat. <laughs> if you find your avatar not working correctly, your animation overrides a little scuffed. No worries. We're here to fix that for you. From the lovely people that brought you the moving butthole <laughs> comes the close-up belly button picture what is it is it a butthole is it a belly button we don't know and we don't <laughs> care <laughs> we'll fix that avatar for you and even add some pubic hair all this at the polygon hills hospital estate <laughs> by the lovely people of polygon nation <laughs> oh, fucking hate it. My could finally not be bald anymore <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking about Zen, I wasn't talking about Zen, we're just kidding here. Oh, wow. Well. No, I was, I was, I was <laughs> it got me my husband, so don't cut oh, that. Oh, God. Do not cut that against him, I swear to oh, God, I'm not talking about him. <laughs> I'm fucking trying to go and be like, Zen, she was talking about you being bald. He's not <laughs> oh, man. That is too fucking good. Uh, that was too much, that was too much. God damn, he's too damn strong. This guy's gotta be stopped. February 13th. 2018. The nail clippers definitely arrived today. I finally was able to trim down my eager thalions. The best that I've ever seen my toes happened only an hour after opening this package. Oh god, it's this and music. Then, <laughs> my toenail clipper broke, leaving me with a hangnail that would be considered a weapon. <laughs> I went for a drive and returned the toenail clipper immediately. Fuck it. Next time, I'll use a bench grinder. Four stars. <laughs> Carl E. April 3rd, 2018. They worked well. You have to take small snippets at a time. It's like chipping away at the toenail version of Mount... That's like... <laughs> <laughs> the music, dude! <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one's, that one's a little bit weird. I don't even know how that review's there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> these, are the, some, these are some of the most amazing toenail clippers that I've ever seen in my entire life. I share it with friends and family at every opportunity that I have. Some even say that I'm a little excessive. I went back and bought all 17 of these toenail clippers. Now, I'm in toenail clip heaven. <laughs> Three stars, December 7th. 2017. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who, who returns toenail? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh my god, they have fucking reviews for underwear. You put it on your ass, how can that go wrong? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't figure out how to use these gems, so I them back. Just because they made me pay for the shipping, I decided to leave a skid mark in it. It's okay, all for the games and economics. <laughs> oh my god. Where the fuck are we going with this? Right, where are we going with this? Underwear doesn't even, it doesn't even, it can't show you the reviews unless you sign up, so I don't even know if I want to do that. I feel so bad doing reviews without Zen. You know, Zen is the man, he's here. It's <laughs> January 4th, 2018. They were rock hard when they got here, and believe me, I've had some rock hard things in my mouth before. <laughs> 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 Nacho cheese dip. Snap into a Slim Jim. Right, snap into a Slim Jim. That's a Me. great commercial. Remember that? Oh uh, yeah. Macho Man Randy Savage coming at you with some of the most amazing things that have ever been said on a microphone before. Hey, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Right, right. <laughs> Carl's Jr. Philosopher 
Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. When I was a kid, I went to SummerSlam. I liked wrestling. You know, WWF, 80s wrestling, 90, early, very early 90s wrestling. That was the shit. That was like a family thing. Everybody would get together and watch it together. One yeah, like, year, like the, the um, Attitude Era, right? Even before that. Even before that. It was, oh. it was a lot more... It was it was viewed very differently. It was like you know it was what the other what the other group of your family was doing when everybody was watching football. You had some wrestling fans back then. Right. So finally, after begging after begging my mom, uh, you know I wanted to go. I wanted to go live. I wanted to. So we had the SummerSlam. Had a great time, and we ended up through some kind of like youth group service or whatever it was. Ended up purchasing tickets to meet the wrestlers backstage. You know, and that's like a a dream come true, right? Like who mm. wouldn't want to meet Hulk Hogan and everybody else? Yeah. So we, we get into the back area where you're supposed to meet the wrestlers, and, like, some dude comes out. He's like, okay, now you guys are going to meet the wrestlers. Please, no pictures. Uh, this, this, and that, blah, blah, blah. We're like, okay, okay, okay. There's probably a group of about 10 kids. And then immediately the door swings open, like, immediately. And a fucking grown man, what looked like to have a steroid rage going on, literally comes running out, and he's like, oh, The whole kid started Whoa. crying immediately. Then the un because that's a lot. When you're a kid and somebody like a grown man is yelling in the hallway, like, oh, it was so funny and the wrestlers had to come back and like apologize. We're like, we're really sorry. Yeah. We were just trying to excite you guys and I was like, Ah, this is all fake. This is all fake. Uh, and you went right there. That's a true story. That's that's literally the first time I found out about uh smoke and mirrors. <laughs>